Hamburg Magistrates Court, the eight members of the VIP Protection Unit caught on video beating up three motorists on the N1 in Gauteng. You know how brutal this assault was. The eight guards arrested yesterday also emerged in the meantime that the three victims were SANDF trainees. One of them belongs to the SA National Defence Union. The Sandu General Secretary is Picky Hreev. Picky, good afternoon to you. I presume you welcome that these people are finally in court. We've seen one of them taking some questions on the stand already this afternoon. Yes, we, uh, good afternoon, Stephen. Yes, of course, we welcome it. Uh, we called on this weeks ago, right after the incident, and we're really glad to see that the criminal justice system is actually taking action here. It took a long time for them to be charged. Obviously, fairly easy to identify. There was video footage. Do you worry about that, that this took a long time? There could be some reason for that? Not really. I uh, think we prefer to look at it from the optimistic side, and that is that I think the police wanted to, you know, dot its I's and cross its T's. Uh, in this case because it was very important out in the public domain and the spotlight was on them. And I think if they take some time to do things right, then uh, we should have a good uh, uh, result in this case. As I understand it, the three SANDF trainees, at least one of them has been told by a commanding officer not to speak in public about what happened. The employer of the victims, the SANDF, how have they handled this? Well, they're quite low-key on it. Uh, we haven't, as a, from a union side, had any uh, interaction further with the Defence Force about the alleged uh, gag order that was on the soldier. Um, the, the member himself doesn't have a problem with that uh, uh, order. And I think what he wants at this stage is just to let the criminal justice system play its role and, and let the case go to trial. Picky, I don't need to tell you about the immense cynicism about this. I think so many people believe that the VIP protection unit has behaved as a law unto itself for many, many years. Do you think your member, the three victims here, will actually be able to get proper justice in this case? That finally we might see justice for what happens in these VIP cases? I believe they will get justice, Stephen, of course, but we must also always remember that, you know, it is not that easy a, a burden of a proof to for the state to pass. To prove something beyond reasonable doubt is really a high milestone that one needs to, to, to go. So I suspect that in some of the charges they might get off, but I think at least on the serious charges like the... Uh, 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 you know, the, the, the beating of, of the members, I think on those charges, they, they will definitely stick. We've already seen some technical discussion in court about what happens if the victims don't identify them. Is that going to be a problem even if there's video evidence? I mean, we could all see these people. I think the first thing that people should worry about is that the authenticity of the video will obviously be questioned by the defence councils. That's what defence councils do, right? Um, so that's the first thing. And the sec so the person who made the video would have to come and testify. And then secondly, there might be a legal problem if the victims themselves can't testify. But I think that can be overcome if the video is authenticised into evidence, then, you know, it speaks for itself. Picky Khreev, thank you very much indeed. The General Secretary of the South African National Defence Union, Picky Khreev, then, as you can see, of course, footage uh, from that live court hearing underway at the moment in the Randberg Magistrates Court.